and we're back with the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and today we're taking a look at the 2024 Jayco J Feather Micro 173 MRB. I just came in through the front door, and this thing is really cool. It's got a lot of features for such a tiny travel trailer. We are right under 21 feet in total length and under 4,000 pounds dry, which means that most mid-sized tow vehicles are not going to have a problem towing this. And having no slide means it's a fairly simple travel trailer to set up. As soon as we come through the door, we're in a combined living room, kitchen, dining space. It's all one room right here, and it also the bedroom, thanks to the fact that we have a Murphy bed back here. So, how does that work? Well, if you look down low, we have this nice little couch. It's got the armrest with some cup holders in the center. This is a jackknife, which means it folds flat. We just lift it up, it drops down flattens out. You could technically sleep on it if you wanted to, but once that's dropped out, we can pull this little lever over here and the whole thing drops down to reveal the main bed for the unit. Now flanking both sides of that, we have closets and in those closets, there's a removable shelf as well as a hanging space. So that's kind of traditional travel trailer storage, but it's set up a little bit differently. You can choose how you want to use it. Everywhere you sit down in here, there is a place to plug up on either side of the couch and at the dinette. We have plugs, both USB and standard 110. And something else that I want to mention about this couch that I think is pretty neat is that they built in storage up under it in the form of drawers and they've given us an extra folding table. That can be really useful on the patio side outside whenever you're prepping, setting up, or just entertaining. It's a great thing to have just to play games on or cook or whatever else you may need it for. I can see lots of reasons for keeping that folding table with us. In addition to all of that, we have a Max Air fan that's right here above the kitchen area in the main room. These things are super powerful and at the touch of a button they can cycle almost all of the air out of here in almost a minute, which is a really cool thing. The kitchen is small but it's well equipped here. We have a three burner stove. It's got the glass top on it. We've got a microwave up high, a high rise faucet for washing out those pots and pans. And it's over a simple little single basin sink that's covered up with this nice little cutting board that sits firmly down in there. It doesn't move around and it kind of extends our counter space for prepping when we're not cooking. There's storage in the form of cabinetry and drawers around this for keeping those extra kitchen odds and ends. At the end of our kitchen, we have our freezer fridge combo. This is a good sized unit from Everchill. It's a 12 volt refrigerator, so it operates off the battery system with ease. This thing can hold a lot of stuff and it's very big for this small of a travel trailer. Directly across from the kitchen, we have our dinette. This thing's kind of neat for a couple of reasons. One, it does the standard dinette thing, which is the table drops down, the pads slide out, and we have a guest bed. So this could potentially sleep three people if you needed to. There's storage up and under it. And of course, not wanting to leave any dead space behind, Jayco just built in some little cubbies behind one of the seat pads there. I think that's kind of neat. They're just using that extra space. And the TV is located right here over the dinette, which is viewable from that sofa on the other side of the room. I think it's a pretty good location, all things considered. That's about the best place they could have put it in here. Extending kitchen storage and just, you know, all of your camping gear that you may need to have, we have a row of cabinets up high. Now this table in this dinette, I should mention too, is not on post. So it doesn't sit up like a traditional travel trailer table does. So it can fold down and go out the door, which means it can be used in conjunction with that fold away table we saw under the couch earlier and you could use it in a bunch of different ways. So this can be moved around with ease. I think that's really neat too. Now, as far as the bathroom goes in this unit, it's right behind me. Let's check that out. 
The bathroom in the 173RB being in the very back of the unit and spanning the width of it feels quite spacious. It has a large shower with a little bit of a tub basin in it and it's got a skylight above for those tall people so they don't hit their head on the ceiling. We have a medicine cabinet up above our sink. Some okay counter space, but it's not huge around it. And then there's some storage down beneath the sink as well. Now the bonus to this bathroom being in the back as it is, is that it gives us the option for a lot of storage back here. We've got three drawers and a large closet system, as well as a big window looking out the back right above our toilet. It's worthy to note that this does have a tankless hot water system, which means you can take a very long uninterrupted shower. And hiding in the bathroom for some weird reason, we have our Go Power 30 amp solar controller, which tells us what's going on with our solar panel that's up on the roof and its charging of our 12 volt system. In terms of heating and air, this particular model has a 19,000 BTU furnace that's powered off of the propane bottles up front. And we have the optional larger air conditioner on here because we're down here in the south. We've got that 15,000 BTU AC. In terms of controlling your camper and knowing what's going on with the systems on board, this is equipped with the J Command system by BM Pro. It's a simple menu system that we can select and go through to see how much uh, battery life we have left to see how full our tanks are and to control some things like lights and awnings and other moving parts of the camper. Now up top there is a quick access living room light button as well as an awning light button so we can come in and immediately cut things on and off without having to fumble through the system here. But in addition to all of that, this has an app so we can pair our phone with this and run everything from our phone if we want to. Now being a simple trailer with no slides, there's nothing to run in or out so we don't have to close it up. When we're on the road, what you see is what you get. So a quick pit stop, you're gonna be able to access everything and potentially even take a nap. Stepping outside of the J-Feather Micro, we see a lot of cool features on the patio side. Starting up at the front, we have a power tongue jack. We also have dual LP gas up here. Having two propane bottles on a single axle trailer is not that common and it's certainly going to extend the amount of time that you can stay out there in the wild. There's a large pass-through storage with big hatch doors that are both insulated and they have magnetic catches making them stay open with ease. Down low on all four corners, we have the new Lippert jack system. Having two points of contact and making that triangle really makes it a lot more stable. Our entry door is equipped with the Lippert Solid Step XF. It's a lightweight version of the original Solid Step. It easily adjusts on each of the legs with simple pull tabs. Probably one of the better sets of Solid Step stairs out there. There's a large grab handle to get in and out of the door, just making it easy and safe. And up high, you'll notice that we have marine grade speakers. These are also connected to the Bluetooth, so you can play music from your phone. This is equipped with a Solera electric awning. It runs out at the touch of a button and it's LED lit. As far as running gear goes, this has Goodyear tires and some automotive style aluminum rims. And take note here that Jayco has metal fenders and a nice enclosure up underneath, just giving it that kind of strength and peace of mind that you come to expect with a build like this. Jayco has already included an exterior TV mount on the patio side up under the awning, as well as cable and satellite and antenna out. So hooking up your TV out here is very easy. There's also 110 power here so that you could run other small appliances if you needed to. Taking advantage of any dead space they can, they've carved out yet another exterior storage spot right here at the rear of the vehicle. And as far as cooking outside goes, this is equipped with the J-Port and a capital griddle that is powered by the propane up front. At the rear of the camper, we have a ladder heading up to our fully walkable roof. 
There's an outside shower. They've mounted the spare tire up nice and high to get it out of the way. And we have a backup camera system that's pre-wired. So it doesn't come with the camera, but it's ready to go. It's an easy plug and play install. And speaking of that, if you wanted to expand it, they even have the pre-wired availability for the side view cameras up front on the marker lights. In terms of construction, the Jayco has the Magnum Truss roof system, that fully walkable roof. In addition to that, we have the Stronghold VBL walls with double-sided Asdell composite. So that Asdell is super nice because it's water resistant and it won't rot like wood does. On the off-door side, we have our low point drains in the rear as well as a sewage hose holder. So they've got a nice little container for it so you don't have to put it in your pass-through storage. We have access back here to our gray and black tank pools as well. Also noteworthy, Jayco puts in a one and a half inch drain for the freshwater tank, which means you can quickly and easily empty this thing out. And back at the front of the camper, we have access to the pass-through storage on our off-door side, which is also noteworthy that we have a battery cutoff switch just inside that pass-through storage. The 173 MRB might just be one of my favorite single axle travel trailers, just based on the layout and amenities alone. I love all of the little features that are on it. I think it's a high-class trailer that exudes a little bit of luxury in a single axle market that typically has been reeling it in this year and having less and less offerings to the public. It's certainly worth checking out for yourself in person. You can do so at Southern RV. Visit us online at southernrv.com or check us out on any of our social media channels. Certainly like, follow, subscribe, share. It really helps out a channel like ours. You can reach us by phone at 770-477-0552 or by email at sales at southernrv.com. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of the 173 MRB and until next time, happy camping. <laughs>